Has the Clippers defense been the best one you guys have seen this season? Uh, yeah. I mean, the switchability, I feel like it's something great. I mean, you have two of the best defenders in the game, too, with PG and Kawhi Leonard. But uh, at the same time, we have to adjust as an offense to uh, – to just try to get the right shots, try to get open shots uh, during the time uh, playing them. But again, they're very good defensively. They're very disciplined. And uh, again, we we just got to keep trying to get the open shot. It was a late practice today. How much film study was there and how much adjusting is there to do, I guess, against the team that you played just yesterday? Yeah, we, uh, we started a little later than usual, a um, little lengthier film session. Uh, a lot of good and a lot of things to to learn from from that film session. I know a lot of guys, myself included, went home and rewatched the game right away. Um, it was good to see the strides that we've made, though, over the past couple of weeks. Um, we look a lot different than we did even last week, and we're continuing to grow and uh, strive to get better on the defensive end, uh, which will trans translate and flow into our offensive execution. So um, there are a lot of good things to take away from that game, a lot of positives, a lot of things to grow on, and uh, we're looking forward to taking that next step. Hey, Michael, Kate Rooney from Cron4. Um, Steve said that you guys are kind of starting to develop a defensive identity. How would you characterize this team's identity, not just on defense, but also on the other side of the ball? Yeah, um, you know, we're starting to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, you can see us attacking pick and rolls uh, with a different mentality than we were coming into the year. Um, our help side is more consistent. I think guys are uh, starting to understand the defensive schemes uh, and really react a little bit quicker. Um, you know, we want to be a defensive team. We want teams to come in and say, man, that was, that was tough playing against them. Uh, it was hard to execute our stuff. Uh, that's what we're striving to do is disrupt the offense as much as we can take them out of a rhythm. Uh, you know, um, you know, we're really, we're really working on getting better at that. end. we know the offensive execution will come with more times, more reps together. Um, that type of stuff is not what we're so, so worried about. It's mostly we're focused on improving on the defensive end and make sure it's a, it's a real difficult night for every team that comes in here trying to play us. Uh, you know, we want them to feel our presence, feel our aggression and our energy right off the bat. Hello, Michael. Chris Salas from SDNA Greece. I would like to ask you, face you want to see to the next, to tomorrow's game, and uh, how important for you to set the tone from your defense? Um, sorry, can you repeat the beginning of the question? We kind of lagged a little bit. Yeah, how different face you are going to see tomorrow against the Clippers? Yeah, um, you know, there were things uh, that we watched in the film that were great. Um, and like I said, a lot of things to build on. Um, we want to make sure that our presence is felt defensively the entire game. Um, we're starting to piece that together and see what that looks like. Um, but we need to have that type of energy and aggression um, and that presence for 48 minutes. So um, that's something that we're striving to get better at and hoping that we can see tomorrow. Um, and obviously pushing forward throughout the rest of the season. We want it to be from point, point blank. Uh, early on in the game, really feeling that energy and defensive presence. I think a lot of guys have done well um, and really are growing on the defensive end. And that's what we're all trying to do. So it's, uh, you know, it's a positive, it's a positive thing to look back on the film and have so many positive clips. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier to look at the film from yesterday than it was look at films from two, two, three weeks ago. So, um, you know, I, I think we're growing and, and really trending in the right direction. William Hammonds here, sports fans rep. Can you, can you talk a little bit about um, uh, Steve's coaching and development of this team and, and how he's bringing this team together? And in, even in the midst of all the different things going on, the, the COVID, the, the, all this, you know, how, how, how is he doing that? Yeah, um, you know, if you know Steve, you know he's a really patient guy. Um, and I think that translates to his coaching style. You know, he, he recognizes that we've had limited time um, and he recognizes that we all desire to grow and get better. And we really want to be the best, uh, the best group we can. And we're still we're still getting used to what that's going to look like. And uh, it's not going to look exactly the same as it always has. So, um, you know, he's been really patient with us and, and allowing us to grow and allowing us to figure each other out. Um, and with the off the court stuff, you know, he, he's a guy that keeps things in perspective. Um, I'm sure you guys have had a lot of experience and heard his take on, on a lot of the issues going on and, um, the COVID stuff, you know what I mean? He's kind of, he's kind of just taking it one step at a time, like the rest of the world, um, with a positive outlook and, uh, you know, controlling what we can control in here. And for us, that's just getting better every day and making sure we come to work, um, and make the most of every opportunity that we share the floor together. Cause, uh, as you guys know, like the season starts going fast and, you look up and you play 40 games and we want to, we want to be able to look up and, and say that we look 
so much better at that point than we look even right now. So, um, you know, really just keeping things in perspective that, you know, uh, we're going to work, working hard every day. Um, and outside, you know, all the things that we can't control, we're not too focused on. Uh, you know, like I said, just keeping a positive mentality, staying optimistic and, and continuing to work. Awesome. Hey, thank you guys. Good to see you. Thank you.